So I've been thinking about how I need to do the uh, the earth lead uh, for my rotary, and this is sort of what I've come up with. Um, picked up these straps just on the internet. Um, so this one here is, will be probably permanent, just to um, back up, I guess, if, if the connection here fails. So just some springs. Um, I'll probably get some maybe heavier duty springs in that one and it goes all the way around to support my biggest pipe as well but it's all right and the spring and I'll get some probably locking mechanism so the springs don't come off halfway through the job yeah so that seems to work all right and if I hit the rotary button It seems to work and I'll just put my ground clamp on the on the bit of angle line there and they so your contact will come through those bolts um, obviously the spring is not sufficient to take too many amps but it shouldn't be carrying any anyway so it'll come through those bolts up through those straps so that should and I'd obviously clean this off just hit it with the grinder so it's got a good clean contact um, and perhaps on the inside, if it switches over to this one, if for some reason it doesn't make contact there. So that should hopefully solve my problem. I'll maybe nick down to Bunnings tomorrow and get some springs and uh, might try my first rotary pipe plasma cup. So these are the pipes that I'm using, as I said. And I've got a different profile for each setup in Mac 3 as I'll be uh, unrolling my cuts to a flat surface. And I've already switched over the... Um, rotary axis to be my uh, Z axis inside Mac 3. Thanks for watching.